Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus. Now, these messages are from your loved ones who've crossed over. Um, there's no timing for this reading. You hear it when you're meant to, when you need to. So, if you were drawn to this video, then there is likely something here for you to hear in either one or all of these messages. So, let's begin. The first thing they want to say is, I am not dead. Only the physical body is gone. And they now know that, um, that the bodies are just a small part of who we really are. They're aware that you miss their voice, their physical presence, but they say that their soul and spirit are still very much alive. The times when you felt their energy, they really were there next to you, just as they are now in this moment. Each of us have a unique fingerprint, and you recognize mine when I'm with you. You need to trust that, uh, that feeling. I'm more actually more alive now than ever before, they say. Gone are all the distractions, stressors that they allowed to rob them of the enjoyment of their life. Now they see how trivial everything was and that all that ever really mattered were the important priorities of love, family, friendship, caring, and helping. They've also discovered how to turn their regrets into learning and growing, and they ask that you do the same. They now see that they never had anything to fear. There's no death, and um, nothing bad can happen to anyone in spiritual truth. Of course, it's always um, important to be smart and careful and follow your guidance. But they say, please don't forsake joy because of fears, because there's truly nothing to fear. If I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently, they say. While living on earth, um, if they had realized just how creative and powerful um, that their, their thoughts were and their effect on, an, uh, on another person, they would have been so much more aware of what they were putting out. Of course, they have regrets, but now they also realized that these were merely opportunities to grow. We never stop learning here or on earth. Their deepest wish is that from their words, you learn to treat another person as you would treat yourself. Let go of the old earthly patterns of judgment and fear and make an effort to bring love to everything and everyone who walks upon your path. And that way, when you come here, when you cross over, you will have no room for regrets. It is not your fault. Please. Um, they ask you to do them a really big favor and stop beating yourself up. Thinking that you caused their death or were in some way responsible for it. You were not. It's so hard from the earthly level to understand the spiritual elements of life. No matter what you think you could have done or should have done, 
they would have, you know, they would have left anyway. They are releasing you of any responsibility for their leaving. Please let go of any guilt. It will make you both feel better. You see, the universe is perfect in its makeup. And what we think is a coincidence is just God's way of remaining anonymous. Trust me. Be kind to yourself, knowing that what I share with you is true. And we see, uh, interestingly enough, that we do have a card of guilt right here at the bottom of the deck. So, moving down to the next row. Your intuition is strong and we are reaching out to help. Your own natural psychic ability is spot on at this time. You're being supported from the other side and are aware of that connection. Continue to listen to that inner voice. It is serving you well at this time. Okay, talk to them. Understand that they are still listening. You can talk, whatever's on your mind, and they can respond through um, through your intuition, especially if it's really strong at this time. Um, you're going to think of them or think of something you'd like to ask them and pay attention to uh, to the thoughts that will follow that, okay? That is them talking to you. Or a feeling. You can even just sense the reply. <clears throat> you are having difficulty dealing with this emotional loss it has upset your life greatly um, things just don't seem to be going the way you want them to talk about it talk about this with them they'll they're listening they will help Yep, see? Focus on the positive. You know that there's many positives. There's much to be grateful for. Focus on those things. Focus on the little things. See, the problems that have held you back, they're being cleared away because they're monitoring it. They're quite aware of it. Focus on the positives because you know that there are many. There is so much going right in your life. It's just that you're not seeing the whole picture sometimes. Open your eyes to what you do have and see all the ways in which life is going well for you. By focusing on the good, you will attract more of the same into your life. You're blessed in so many ways, so rejoice for this and remain optimistic. There is light ahead. After a difficult period, you will now have a time of release and letting go. Your loved ones are keeping an eye on things for you. You can relax knowing that better times are on their way to you and they will help take care of it for you. You're still carrying a guilt and they're telling you it's not your fault. 
You see? You are having difficulty. Um, I, I think that sometimes it can be overwhelming if you let yourself slide back that way. I feel like you're trying to um, maintain. Uh, hmm. It's like a blank slate because the fool for me it would be that. It would be like that blank slate. And this king, he tries to uh, remain in control. It's what you're trying to do. But you could be so easily swept us under because of the loss. This loss is very challenging for you. But they are aware and they are helping. Okay? They're going to clear the way. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Many blessings to you.